Okay, so if you spend any amount of time online talking about guitars or guitar gear, especially boutique guitars and boutique builders, you probably have run into the CNC versus handmade debate at some point in the past. Now, this is a point of controversy for a lot of guitar players. Some people prefer the handmade version, which is the old school way of doing it using a machine called a pin router, whereas other people prefer or have no problem with the modern production technique of using a CNC machine. So in today's video, we're going to Novo Guitars in Nashville, Tennessee, where they have both a CNC and a traditional pin router. And we're gonna compare the two processes with two different guitar bodies. One will be cut out on a CNC, the other will be cut out on the pin router. So you can see how both processes work and if there's any difference in the final guitar body. Now we won't end up seeing the entire production process through to the end, but hopefully this video should give you a pretty good idea of what goes into a boutique guitar building process. So let's head up to Novo Guitars in Nashville, Tennessee to take a look at their C and set rhymes. That's weird. Whatever, you get it. Let's go to Novo. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good. So we're talking CNCs today. Yes. The CNC versus the uh, handmade debate. Okay. Yeah. CNC basically just takes a 3D drawing or 2D drawing and uses geometry to move the tools around in a pattern. It's more consistent than doing it by hand, and you get the same results, you know, every time cut out a body. Yeah. But once it's set up, you can just run. You know, production. So if you're, you know, two or three guitars on a pin router a day versus, you know, you can do 10 to 12. And depending on the size of your machine, yeah, you can do massive production. Okay, so if you're not familiar with what a CNC machine is or what it does, basically, it's kind of a big robot. Instead of a human cutting out a guitar body by hand with a series of band saws and pin routers, it's one machine that does the whole process automatically. Now the term CNC means computer numerical control. And essentially what happens is a designer, in this case, Dennis Fano and the team at Novo Guitars, create a design drawing in a CAD program. Then they convert that CAD drawing into a specific program that is a language that the CNC machine will speak. And in that program is all of the specific motions, the tool types, every little process that the CNC machine needs to know to complete a guitar body. Now there's a few reasons a shop like Novo would want to use a CNC machine. First of all, speed and consistency. An operator like Pete can crank out a lot more guitars than somebody just on a pin router and every single one of those guitar bodies is going to be exactly the same. And as we'll see a little bit later in the video, they're also a lot safer. That's a production, so you, know, you basically just set the machine up however it's required for the program and tell it where to go and, and uh, push the button and stand nice. back. Nice. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's kind of the big, down the dirty version. Okay, so I think they're gonna start actually routing out a body for a Miris, which is the semi-hollow body that Novo does. So we're gonna see the whole CNC process and then we're gonna take a look at the pin router and see the differences and how each process works. All right, so we're actually gonna be machining the body for my new guitar that Novo is building. Now, I already started a video on it, which you can check out here, but uh, we're about to throw the body on the CNC, hog it out because this is gonna be a semi-hollow guitar called the Miris. It'll be pretty sweet. Yeah, so we're putting the, the solid body blank on here. We're gonna hollow it out using a roughing end mill and then finish the interior with a half inch uh, finishing end mill. Nice. It'll probably take about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So this I'm telling the machine basically uh, where the top where the top part is so it knows how far to go down. Zeroing out the Z, so right now it's this is where the reading is and all this 
zero that out. Now it knows where the top part is. Nice. And then we can start cutting. <laughs> Hogging out the inside, what is it doing now? Now it's just taking a quick perimeter cut, it's just taking any, you know, making it symmetrical, and then it's going to come in and finish the sidewalls with a finished end mill, and then we're done as far as that part goes. So if you were doing this process on the pen router, how long do you think it would take you? Probably 30 minutes, 40 minutes maybe. And this is uh, taking what, like five at this point? Uh, yeah, we're like kind of around, around seven minutes right now. So we're going to weigh it after it's been hogged out to see what the weight difference is on it. Uh, the original weight was 4 pounds, 7 ounces, and now, what? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to put some lead weights in there. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a light guitar, man, which I love. Thing's going to ring like a bell. So with my guitar, yes. we're doing a combination of CNC and pin right? Yeah, I mean, right now um, we're doing the uh, prototyping for the Mirus on the CNC. Mm -hmm. And our first, our models are the Mirus J, which is uh, two P90s and a Mastery Bridge and Trem. Yeah. And the Mirus T, which is a uh, Tele Bridge pickup and a P90 in the neck. Now what we're going to do for yours is, we talked about exactly what it is on the, on the yeah, channel so somewhat, far. somewhat, but we can go ahead and... So we're going to do, it's going to be three pickups and it's going to be a, a different bridge that we've done. So we either have to program that, program that into um, the CNC program or we can actually run that on the pin router if we want to. So we're basically going to ask Steven what he wants to do, how he thinks, because we can locate the bridge off of any machine and just drill it out. But for the pickups, it's, it's important to get that part of it right. I think we'll probably do it off of the machine. So, you know, I mean, we're still... Uh, a little old school here like you know we do a lot of custom stuff so you know we're gonna do a lot of CNC work and then there's still gonna be a lot of stuff that gets done off the machines okay so that's how the CNC works now what we're gonna do is take essentially the same body a mirror's body and do it on a pin router so you can see the differences in the processes and the differences if there are any in the final product so Steven walk me through the uh, process here what's going on we're just gonna change out a tool this is what happens when Dennis puts a tool on. <laughs> Six, eight months ago, we were making every single body right here. We made about, I'm going to say, 200 of them Yeah. right here. Uh, and that was me, you know, just going for it. Uh, but since the CNC has relieved me, I can do other stuff. Do other that's, things. That's great. And everybody's happy uh, because, uh, especially Jack, because the parts fit together better. Right. All right, so Stephen, how does this work like how are you are you physically going to do this all like freehand or is there a, is there uh, a uh, what you got is a uh, template on the bottom that follows somebody's been over here using my stuff <laughs> a pin hence uh, pin router there's right. the pin in pin router it goes on the bottom um, and it's just going to follow this so it looks really neat when you watch this uh, people think you're just really good at freehanding things. Yeah. Because <laughs> you don't see the bend. <clears throat> Which makes it really good for production woodwork like this. When you want to do the same thing over and over, yeah. we got stops in there so we can set it. We have predetermined oh, cool. depths 
we just spin this guy around um, and there we get our different pocket depths and just it's like a, it's like an analog CNC it's an analog CNC yeah you are the computer I'm yeah yeah I'm the I'm the motor in this case <laughs> I mean the computer yeah also I'm definitely the brain of this thing but you know all that's gonna happen here is I'm gonna move this thing around um, we're over there there's a gantry moving the cutter around yeah so what we're gonna do now is just hog all this out um, I need to go grab my my glasses and my mask because it's gonna make a a lot of nuts. I'm gonna go grab it. Quarter inch pin. So that's that's me uh, setting the depth. So I want to leave a quarter inch. Gotcha thickness so we'll just lower the cutter right to the pin here to be near that thing yeah. and that's one of the reasons I've been the only one doing this because I don't want anybody over here other than me let's let's limit this to one person yeah you know in this sort of uh, uh, I mean I'm not gonna call it danger but it, it's a potentially hazardous situation that's a powerful tool man it is it's a five horsepower motor and it will just eat you up yeah if you get in there so what do you think about the whole CNC versus handmade pin router debate CNC's don't build guitars you want people's hands in the sanding, you want people's hands in the assembly, in the setup, in the fret work. That's where the hand work matters. That's where the experience really matters. Pushing a router around is not a high skill job. It's with me pushing this thing around. You know, this is, this is a factory job. Um, anybody can do this. Uh, there's no, you don't need to know a single thing about guitars to do this. Uh, doing it with a CNC, uh, makes it more consistent and so with a more consistent part we create the same great guitar the Dennis prototype every time rather than you know having to have super skilled people do every little thing um, and then guitar builders everywhere you know and the product is different all the time no we want to make Dennis's guitar over and over and over again for everybody um, and even that, I mean, I once heard uh, Paul Reed Smith say, you know, that the factory was making a better guitar than he could build. And that's how it ought to be, you know? Let somebody design it, dream it up, and then let modern manufacturing techniques make it even better and make it even better every time. So the idea that by me pushing this thing around, 
like this that there's somehow some mojo or some soul um, in it if by mojo and soul you mean that you know you got some uneven yeah. <laughs> parts in there right if that somehow you think is gonna make your sound better I mean sure and I've long told people that if you believe that's what you need then that's what you need yeah. because we hear with our preconceptions and so if that's your preconception that it's got to be handmade by some guy who builds one guitar every three years go for it so wow. this you were saying is where handmade really matters right where it where it can make a, a difference to people who appreciate it um, and I as a maker of things appreciate things like this um, but I think most people would just blow right by them Dennis gave me a picture of this and I had to go through several iterations of physical templates carving them with a file yeah. you know um, to get this shape right and also to get this shape to where we could make it with this machine yeah. because there are limitations we can't just do whatever we want yeah. we have to, to to do it in such a way that the machine can can recreate it right so this is this is very handmade and this is pretty cool but you know that's not to say the the one that we got on the CNC is still going to get hand sanded people are still going to get in there with a little you know a little file a little Right. little uh, uh, dowel with some sandpaper on it and give it a human touch. Yeah, um, I, think, I think one thing that people have when they see a, a guitar or a guitar maker is using a CNC machine is they have this conception that all you do is push a button and a, a guitar pops yeah, out, guitar they just pops. bolt it together and put right. strings on it and go. That's not it, right? And, and I've, I've worked for plenty of people, you know, as a, a, as a finisher of guitars who bought, you know, dumped tens of thousands of dollars in a CNC machine, thought they could do that. Yeah. Uh, and, and they would send me their stuff and be like, nah, bro, you need to finish actually building this. Like the fretwork is awful, it's not gonna play. Yeah. Uh, the neck shape is horrible. You haven't sanded it. Like you haven't built a guitar. Yeah. You just, you know, spit this chunk of wood. I mean, the CNC is no different from a, a chisel uh, or a plunge router. It's, just another tool in the bag and you really still got to know how to build guitars you know, to do anything with one. Okay, so here we have two complete bodies ready to have the tops glued on them and finished. This is the handmade quote unquote body and this is the CNC body. Personally, the only difference that I can see and feel between them is if you look on the inside of the cavity route of the pin router version, you can tell with the inconsistencies that it was done by hand. Whereas this one, you look a little closer, you can see it was done on a CNC machine. Now the whole CNC versus handmade debate, I think is founded a lot in a misunderstanding of what a CNC is and what it actually does. I think some people are under the impression that a CNC is a one machine to do it all. You hit a button and a completed guitar props out with very little to no human interaction whatsoever. And as hopefully you've seen in this video, that's not the case. There's still a ton of handwork that goes into finishing these things. Hand sanding, there's gluing the tops on by hand, they're finishing painting by hand, they're doing the fret work all by hand. So personally, I think the benefits of a CNC machine in the manufacturing process far outweighs any negatives there might be when it comes to the mojo of a handmade guitar. The time savings and safety factor alone of a CNC machine means that a guitar company can produce more guitars more consistently than they could by hand. And for a small company like Novo, that is huge. That is a game changer. So personally, I'm a fan of the CNC. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Are you still a diehard pin router fan, handmade, or a CNC fan? Or are you like me and you don't really care? As long as the guitar plays well, sounds great, I really don't care if it was made on a pin router or a CNC. As always, massive thanks to Novo Guitars here in Nashville, Tennessee for letting me come by and shoot the video. You can come here and check out the shop. If you wanna take a tour while you're in town, you can check out the link below where you can sign up for a tour and come check out what they're doing here. Also be sure to follow them on Instagram so you can keep up with what they are doing out of this amazing shop. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Rhett Shaw, and remember there is no plan B.